What's up, everybody? It is T-Rex, my socks, and I'm back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 video, and in today's video, I am doing a review on the Principe Electro motorcycle. Uh, now, this was uh, recently released in the Heist update, and uh, first I'm going to tell you guys actually how you unlock it. Now, you actually unlock this uh, vehicle. You actually unlock this vehicle from... Uh, from completing the finale of the final heist, the Pacific Standard heist, uh, and in order to do that, you have to complete all the other previous heists and uh, all the setups for the um, final heist. And uh, in and actually in the heist, uh, you you um you can use it to uh, escape uh, to the um, area that you have to drive to uh, with Electros and. And obviously, as I'm sure you guys already know about the Electro, the Electro is so special. And by the way, it costs seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, which is a lot of money for this. But I'm gonna get it, get uh, more into that later. But uh, the thing that makes this bike so special is the fact that it has a uh, it has a KERS system. I'm not sure if it, you can call it that or K E R S, uh, which stands for Kinetic Energy Recovery System. And uh, as you can see here. Um, it pretty much gives you like a uh, little boost, like kind of like the boost that you can get at the beginning of a race or um, stuff like that, or um, in a GTA race. And this is very cool because it's on the, uh, it shows it right below the minimap where the special ability would be in campaign. It has the uh, same exact yellow bar with that. And uh, to act actually to recharge the um, energy for this, all you have to do is uh, break and it should recover while you're braking. Uh, it doesn't recover if you're like standing still. Uh, which is kind of odd in my opinion, but uh, it recovers uh, when you brake. So, um, it, and uh, it recovers quicker if you brake when you're going at like a faster speed. Obviously, uh, if you're going at like the max speed, I, I think it recovers about like half of the energy. And this is very cool. And one of the downsides to this actually is that uh, unfortunately, you cannot use the boost in races. So if you're looking to, use, to uh, find a new racing bike for races, I do not recommend this because you cannot use the boost in the race and it is rather slow without the boost. But um, overall, this is just a very cool motorcycle, although it is, in my opinion, it is very overpriced because $750,000 is very steep, especially for a motorcycle, considering the fact that you could buy some supercars for less than that. Yeah, so uh, it's kind of it's kind of odd that seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. I think it'd be better if it was like three hundred grand or two hundred fifty grand or something like that, because seven hundred fifty grand is just way too steep for a motorcycle, in my opinion. Even if it does have uh, the K E R S, the kinetic energy. But uh, uh, overall, I think this is a very cool br cool uh, bike, and I think if you have the money to buy it, then I recommend. Then I then I think it would be uh, good for you guys to buy it because. In my opinion, this bike is just a lot of fun overall. It can get you to uh, places pretty quickly. Uh, although you do get dismounted easily like um, other motorcycles. But uh, overall, this is just a very cool motorcycle. Now, anyways, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like down below. Comment, rate, and subscribe because I upload daily GT5 videos two times a day. And as always, guys, have a nice day.